If you're interested in FIFA Mobile, I currently have a second channel where we run a FIFA Mobile Road to Glory, link down below. And if you need any coins for Ultimate Team to get a head start on the game, head to the link in the description, use the code TVM for a discount at checkout. What is going on guys, Hivim here, welcome back to a brand new video, brand new player review, 82 rated, Inform Kanate. Uh, links to, I mean, nearly every SBC that EA released because EA only know about Leipzig players, I think. Uh, there's an awful lot of good cards out there that are from Leipzig already in this game, just over a month in. And there's Mukiele. There's uh, Forsberg, who you can put in front. There's an Inform Gulashi, who you can play behind. Klosterman has himself a road to the final. And if you can't afford the astronomical price that that is, you can just get the normal card and stick a shadow on him and he's one of the best defenders in the game. Question is, is Kanate one of the best defenders in the game? There's that inform upper Meccano as well, by the way. So, yeah, a, a massive amount of options. There's another one as well, isn't it? The season uh, objective Sabitza is another Leipzig player. I'm sure I'm missing one. Did I say Mukiele? Either way, crazy amount of cards from Leipzig already. High defensive work rate, which is a good start. Six foot four, fantastic for a centre back. We all know this. Three star skills, two star weak foot. I mean, I wouldn't say it's largely irrelevant, but it. I mean, it's not. Don't need to worry about it as much as. I mean, if this was a centre mid, I'd be. I'd be worried. You know, I'd be like, wow, Matuidi in disguise. But no, you're fine. Uh, so you've got good acceleration, much better sprint speed though. 83 sprint speed, 82. Uh, sorry, 72 acceleration. That kind of means that you either, not have to, but you'd either want to put an anchor or a shadow, I think. I mean, most people would go for a shadow. It depends, really. I put an anchor on him, as you can see, because I didn't want to waste a shadow on a player that I knew I was going to sell. I'm not going to use him, even if I feel like he is the best centre-back in the game. To get him in my team would, A, would take a lot, but B, I'd have to change a lot. I would have to put probably Klosterman next to him, play Gulashi in behind, and then try and find a different... I tell you what, it's not a bad idea. But um, yeah, my team is so complicated that I, I don't think it would really work. But I, I reckon Shadow, uh, if you are desperate about the pace. Anchor is good because you do get a little bit of pace. You get a 77 acceleration, 88 sprint speed. The defensive stats without the chem style are decent. Uh, 82 interceptions, 81 heading... Uh, you've got 80 defensive awareness, which is, I would say, a little bit less important than what we think it is, or what we thought it was, I should say, because the pace kind of trumps anything like that. Good stand tackle at 89, and slide tackle 83. Good physicals as well. Stamina, doesn't matter. 71's fine. 87 strength is fantastic. He's got good aggression as well at 81. You kind of want to improve that jumping, though, in my opinion. I mean, he's six foot four, sure, but... But the amount of crosses that get put into the box this year compared to last, not that it's like an amazing amount, but it's enough. It's enough to make me think, right, need someone in the box who can head this ball clear if need be. So that's where the anchor comes in. You get to 88 jumping, uh, 10 strength, because why not? 5 aggression. And then, of course, you've got 99 stand tackle, 93 slide tackle, 85 defensive awareness, 86 heading and 87 interceptions. That turns him into an 89 rated centre back. That, in my opinion, is enough. So that's why the anchor in, is, is a good chem style to go with. It, it's a very good choice for sure. But, it's just my opinion, you feel free to do whatever it is you want to do. Now, with that being said, uh, we don't. I don't think we have any traits to speak of. No, we don't. So it is it's just down to how well he performs. Now, at the back, I had him next to uh, Kunde, who is, of course, the objective player from Sevilla. Road to the final, could get himself an upgrade. Does link into him, of course. We get a soft link of um Larice in behind or not Larice are we gonna uh, sorry a hard link of Gulashi I did have Larice in behind for a little while and it, I mean he played off chem for one game I think it was on eight chem it worked all right it didn't do too badly I didn't really see that there was a problem the the anchor that doesn't give you as much pace as the shadow I don't think I encountered one problem with regards to pace for those who were concerned uh, or wondering whether the anchor or the shadow was the best one to go with i mean i'm not saying don't use a shadow and anchor's fine because it might not be it depends who you come up against but i was playing against as you do in most games fairly pacey players and in some cases of course you get like super fast like neymar's and mbappe's but um 
he was fine. He didn't he didn't falter. Um, not once did he get caught. So just yeah. Just note that it doesn't really matter too much if you use an, an anchor. I think the added strength might have helped in certain situations as well. You'll see in some of the clips that he kind of just stands there. I'm not doing anything. I'm controlling someone else. Maybe I'm controlling Kunde going for a challenge. Maybe Semedo comes across and then, or Quadrado comes across. And then just out of nowhere, Kanate's just stood there. And he's like a wall. And you can't get past him. And the AI are controlling him. And he just takes the ball and runs away. Um, short passing out from the back is good as well because he has 82 short passing. Don't expect him to play any killer ball through to the striker or anything. And don't expect him to launch any over-the-top through ball that's going to get your strikers in on goal. Although it can happen with 75 long passing, it's not going to happen every single game. But either way, uh, I, I do like the card. I think, uh, I think it does give some people a bit of a, a selection headache because the amount of options you have... Not just from Leipzig, but France as well. Uh, of course, you've got Varane, who can link into Militao. Is he better than Militao? I don't know, and I'm not going to sit here and say he's better than this guy, that guy, this guy, because certain players will feel different to other, you know to, to certain people, and you'll have your favourites, and I haven't used everyone to compare him. But as mad as it sounds, and in most cases, I would rather have Kanate at the back than Van Dijk. And it... It's weird because it doesn't necessarily mean that I think Kanate is better than Van Dyke, And I'm saying it as a Van Dyke owner and in real life as a Liverpool fan as well. I'm not saying Kanate is better than Van Dyke in real life. That's We're just talking about FIFA. But in terms of the game, as good as Van Dyke is, Kanate's pace with an anchor and I would imagine with a shadow, it just it's so much better and it's so good and he feels good enough and, and fast enough to be able to keep up with nearly anyone that I think pace trumps almost anything else in this game being six foot four and having that sort of aerial presence and that strength with the anchor as well I'm not saying Van Dyke doesn't have this and I'm not necessarily doing a direct comparison but I, I just think that you don't necessarily have to go for the quote unquote uh, best player you know you don't have to go for the guy who everyone else thinks is the best. You don't have to go for the one that on paper looks better. Speaking of on paper, comparing them side by side, there is actually no comparison. Um, Van Dijk is head and shoulders better than um, than Canate. The weak foot goes in Van Dijk's favour as well, just in case you were wondering and you have to play that out from the back. I wasn't necessarily doing a direct comparison, but it's definitely worth a mention. In terms of the um, the pace, they're, they're quite similar actually. In, um, in terms of acceleration and sprint speed. I mean, they again, the sprint speed is higher on both of them, but Canate is just that little bit quicker. And with the chem style, I think he just moves a little bit better as well. They're both 6'4". Um, high defensive work rate on Canate means that he stays back constantly. Each to their own at the end of the day. I really like him. Him next to Klosterman, absolutely sensational. And now he's about 50k. Absolutely banging price, good defender, Another good option from Leipzig. Why not? If you have enjoyed this play review, do me a favor and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until the next time, goodbye. Join the betting rebellion and find out what your football knowledge is really worth.